gravity is allowing it. Smooth rotation in one direction. Other direction. A few times. And you can see healing and relaxing takes place. If you just relax your neck, allow the energy to flow through, you will be relaxed mentally and physically. After several rounds, do the palming, do the face, and head. Repeat. Touch the face, feel the bone, move up to the eyes. Forehead, head, back of the head, touch the ear, and then interlock the fingers, inward the palms, breathe in and stretch up, lengthening the arms, stretching the spine, whatever comfortable for you. Throw the head back so you can relax. And then do nothing. Just let the gravity allow your arms to flow. Feel the weightlessness. Feel that you are an observer. You are witnessing. You are not doing or undoing. You are a passive witness. And as you separate yourself from your body and mind, you can experience it deeper state of relaxation and meditation. Then arms come down, feel the energy in the palms because palms carry lots of electricity, prana. And you can feel interaction of both palms. Just feel the energy in the palms and just whatever happens, let it be. You just become aware of it. Prana can attract the palms, repel the palms, or you can feel the just sensation. This cultivates a healing energy. This energy you can use for self-healing or healing others. For self-healing, you touch any area that needs healing. For healing others, you touch them or keep your hands even few inches away from the area they need the healing and still energy works. And this requires a little bit training for so many people. When the palms reach, rub the palms and touch your face and transfer healing energy to the face. Why is it so difficult to let go? You know why? Why find people difficult? Everything doing, doing. Especially people who are doing yoga for many years, I tell them, let the arms go. You know what they do? They just bring them down. That you show a program. They push them down. Pushing them down. So first lesson learning is not doing. And this way your body will relax, you will be flexible, you can do so many things. And those who try, they stiffen their muscles. Just see, simple experiment. So anytime I give program, I let them experiment. And see, just simplest experiment is, just like you want to reach your hands to the toes and head to the knee. And generally they do try hard. <laughs> try that. You see. What muscles do you use? Mm -hmm. Just try. You actually tighten the muscles if you're trying. Right? Mm -hmm. And muscles come in the way. It's self-defeating practice. Suppose you just do the same thing. Forget about formality. Just relax. Breathe out. But breathe normally. Feel the gravity. Feel loosening up. Feel the body giving in, giving in, giving in. Surface muscles relax, you reach deep muscles, and you can reach.
reach further and also you can communicate with internal organs. You go beyond the skin, beyond the surface muscle into the neck. And then come up, just a simple experiment. Apply to any position and you can see the difference, just a basic point. And if you are programmed in doing, you will be doing the wrong thing. Did you notice? Shut Jump. My back sitting. Long time, several years? How many years? I don't know, a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Did you know we are? I know, that's yes. why I came back. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. I gotta get a little more. Yes. So, <laughs> when I have a card, I will, you know, give out or I'll put on the website. I'm going to call, but if I could design just website and email address because I want to reach out more people through email. Mm -hmm. They can drive me anytime. Anyone who studied with me, I offer them, they can email me. And usually I reply immediately, the same day. I have no backlog. You know, all the bills <laughs> are paid ahead of time. <laughs> September bill is paid in the middle of August. Or whenever bill comes, it is paid. Not in value. Not only now, but when we had store, when I came from home store, 9 to 5, everything was done during that time. This efficiency is called yoga. Yoga, karma shu, kaushala. Okay, this is in a Bhagavad Gita. Yoga, karma shu, kaushala. One of the definition of yoga or karma yoga is skillfulness of action. Okay. What is skillful action? Let's let that. That, you know, what is skillful action? Skillful action is yoga. So you can understand from one standpoint and a spiritual standpoint. So I want everyone to participate. What is skillful action? Not wasting your time. As my Not wasting it. time. Yeah. Well, less time you make more money. That is yoga. Yeah. Or like say less you know, effort you make. And time. That, that means efficiency. Anything. Go into the store. I mean, you can you, you, you map it out the three places yeah. you got to go to. And you go the right route. You don't waste any time. Yes. Efficiency. Yes. It's but quality then, work. You do quality work, impeccable work, and a yes. complete work. Doing with love so you enjoy. That, that helps. Okay. But. Unconsciously, though? Hmm? Unconsciously, though? Consciously. Not Consciously not. or unconsciously, it becomes so much integrated. No. Okay, skillful action. Then I think I have put in one of the book. Then a thief who is very skillful mm -hmm. is the thief who steals and doesn't get caught. Isn't he skillful? If you consider the definition, skillful action is yoga. For thief's job is to steal something and not to be caught. Sure. Does it fit that it's definition? Then something is wrong with the definition. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Think about what could be greater than that. Skillful action, okay? Should I explain? Oh. Skillful action is you do something and it doesn't leave any traces. Any traces means sanskaras. All the actions produce a reaction. Mm. All the causes have their effect. Mm. Good cause, good effect, bad cause, bad effect. Mm. So anything we do is called karma. And karma produces reaction. For reaction, we have to spend more time in this life mm -hmm. and more suffering, good results or bad results. Uh, you know, bad results. It is suffering in the prison. This life is called prison. You are in the prison with an iron bar or golden bar. You are in the prison with a solitary confinement or you are in the prison with all the luxury. Prison is prison. You know, people who are under house arrest, they are still...